Knuckles Chaotix, anyone? Yeah, I thought you were gonna say that. Roll the intro! Hey Slayers, I'm the world's coolest Sega enthusiast, Sega Slayer 64, and hold on, actually, let me make sure the volume's right. <laughs> okay, let me make sure the volume's right, I know, you guys can't hear a thing. There you go, you should be able to hear now, but there you go. So let's just make this full screen real quick, there we go. Okay, so hey Slayers, I'm the world's coolest Sega enthusiast, Sega Slayer 64, and welcome to Knuckles K Onyx. The first episode in the Let's Play of this amazing uh, Genesis game and Knuckles Chaotix is not a Genesis game. It is an acclaimed 32X game. It is the best game in the world. Your channel is trash. Your how do you call yourself the world's coolest Sega enthusiast? You can't even say 32X right. Your channel is garbage. I'm unsubscribing. I'm done with the channel. I don't want to watch it anymore. You freaking loser. The, um, the, the controls are okay. No, this is not really a let's play, and I have to fix the controls. So you know what? I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. Sorry about the little cut there. Just had to fix my controls. But no, the, in reality, this is not a, a let's play of Knuckles Chaotix. Although, I'm willing to do that at some point if anyone wants that, okay? No, in fact, Knuckles Chaotix is actually just the placeholder for what we're actually going to be talking about today. And that is Sonic Origins. So, I made a little short a couple days ago. Well, I say a couple days ago. It was actually yesterday. And I made the short with the video idea as well. Because I knew I wanted to make a video about this. Because I had just found out recently that, um... Well, the uh, Sonic Origins collection that we had saw at Sonic Central. Which I think everyone remembers us seeing at Sonic Central. Well, I, we found out that it's going to be actually releasing in 2022. And I don't know if everyone else knew that or... Or if it was just me who found out like a couple days ago, but I did just find out like a couple days ago. And I was like, oh, dude, I'm extremely hyped for that. I don't know if anyone else is hyped for that, but I am. I am extremely hyped for it. Oh, uh, you press the A button to call your partner like that. Okay. Whatever. We'll just go to, uh, we'll just leave. But yeah, I I'm super hyped for this. Okay. Hold on. No, no, no. We want to skip. Okay. So C is what we're going to use the script. Oh no, a, I'm pressing, I'll press A to leave, but yeah, there we go. I'm super hyped for, um, I'm super hyped for, uh, Sonic Origins, right? And we know that the game's gonna be good, I mean, let's be honest here. And if you don't know what Sonic Origins is, first off, how could you not know what Sonic Origins is? It's actually, uh, super freaking cool, and I, I am, like I said, super hyped for it, so I'm gonna need SBO to stay there. I forgot how to, wait, hold on, it's been a minute since I played Knuckles Chaotix, hold on. You gotta forgive me, okay? Wait, I need SPO. Oh, yeah, okay, there we go. SPO, you stay there. Now, uh, yeah, but Sonic Origins, ha it, 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 essentially what it is, is a collection of Sonic, classic Sonic games that's going to be coming to all systems, as they say, in, in 2022, right? And it includes games we haven't seen in a while. It includes Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, Sonic and Knuckles, and um sonic cd and also if you count sonic and uh, sonic 3 and knuckles as a separate game lame old to you then yeah it, it includes sonic 3 and knuckles as well but i count i count that all as one game so i just call it sonic 3 personally it's one game it was always meant to be one game so that's why but yeah that's that's it's gonna include all of that right and what really makes it cool is it's gonna actually like i said it's gonna feature sonic 3 sonic and knuckles and the one that surprised me even more than those two were was sonic cd because the thing is about the, these sonic collections right sonic cd never gets in sonic 3 and knuckles never gets in hold on let me rephrase that because Sonic and Knuckles uh, does get in occasionally. Like, I see Sonic and Knuckles on a lot of collections and classic collections and, like, mini consoles, like the At Games mini consoles and a bunch more other, like, mini consoles. Sonic and Knuckles does tend to make it on that. But, like, 
almost never does um Sonic 3 and uh Sonic CD make it in, especially Sonic CD. Like that was really surprised me. It never gets in, but to see it there was actually pretty cool. And I'm actually extremely hyped for it. I don't know if anyone else is, but I am I'm extremely hyped for that. I'm ready to see what you know how this collection is gonna look, what type of features is gonna be in it. Now I heard it's supposed to just be straight up ports, so I don't I don't think it's gonna be. I, I'm thinking it's, I heard it's not going to be emulation, and that they're just gonna port the games directly to whatever system it's on, which is gonna be extremely cool. You know what I'm saying? Because usually they just do they take the cheap way out and go with emulation. Which don't get me wrong, emulation is awesome. Of course, I love emulation. I'm using it to play this game right now. But I always did love when companies take the extra effort and put and you know just directly pour the game to something so you know it could be better now to be honest with you if you want to ask me why do i think they're the companies are going to just go ahead and port the game i'm going to tell you exactly why they're doing it right now you ready the reason they're going to go ahead and just port the game is extremely simple and the reason is i'll tell you what the reason is right now the reason they're going to go ahead and do this is because of Sonic CD and Sonic 3. They're going to port it because they want you to, um, they want to take out the music from Sonic, uh, and Sonic CD, and they also want to take out some of the music from Sonic and, uh, Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles. I can guarantee that right now, so that's why it's gonna be ports, but, I mean, hey, it's, it's better than nothing, you know what I'm saying? We're making progress now. I'm gonna talk, what I'm gonna be talking about today is some of the things I'm speculating about the game, because, to tell you the truth, right, to tell, if I'm being 100% honest with you, I'm more hyped for Sonic Origins than I am for uh, Sonic Colors Ultimate and Sonic Rangers. And the reason I'm just hyped for that is because I see this leading to so I see this potentially leading to something really good in the future. And what do I mean by this? Well. I mean, this might lead to, who knows, you never know what this could lead to. This could lead to Sega finally taking some initiative with classic, uh, with some of their other games, you know what I'm saying? More games could get collections like this, you know what I'm saying? Or, in all honesty, they could do something like the, where they make other Sonic collections, you know what I'm saying? Like, what I'm hoping for is next we could get a 32-bit collection, and with that we could have, like, which uh, I do think uh, Knuckles Chaotix should have got into that game, because personally I see Knuckles Chaotix as a classic Sonic game, but other people don't. If you don't, you know, I'm not about to have that debate here with anyone. <clears throat> I'm too. But, um... I'm not going to have this debate here with anyone. If you don't see it as a classic Sonic game, you know, you just don't see it as a classic Sonic game. I personally do, because it's really cool. But, you know, now this gives me hope that, who knows, maybe Sega might be like, okay, well, Sonic Origins sold well, you know what I'm saying? How about we have another Sonic collection, but this time we do Sonic 32-bit games, you know what I'm saying? So we get Knuckles Chaotix, we get, um, we get Knuckles Chaotix, we get Sonic 3D Blast, but the Sega Saturn edition. Uh, we get, what else could we get? We could get Sonic Jam, and they could give us Sonic R. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? You know what I'm saying? But maybe there's something, and maybe it could lead to something like that. Now, I do think, like I said, Knuckles Chaotix should have been in Origins altogether, but it wasn't. Oh, well, I don't really care. You know what I'm saying? That was Sega's choice. They just didn't want to do it. Also, have we? Why does the why these special stages are extremely underrated? I think they're really freaking cool. But yeah, um. Yes, I do think this game should have been in Origins, but it's not. So, you know, it really doesn't make a big deal. You know what I'm saying? It would have been cool. But I see because I'm my guess, my best guess is they're gonna be a, there's gonna be a lot of like extra R and things like that, which is gonna be like really cool. We might see some never before things. They might do something interesting, like adding hidden palace back into Sonic 2. Or who knows what they're gonna do, you know what I'm saying? I'm just really hyped to see what they are gonna do. And especially how this game is good, because this is the, the Sonic Origins is going to be one of those games that I think the Switch is really good to own. You, that type of game, you know what I'm saying? Because it's going to be cool to have them all on the go like that. I mean, you have other options to obviously play all these games. You can get them on. Um, you can go ahead and get these games on all types of platforms from Sonic. Uh, I meant from the Sega Genesis Collection or their 99 cents on Steam and things like that. But still, to have this be here is actually just going to be extremely cool. I'm going to go to the play real quick. Dude, okay, hold on. First off, one day I'm making a video about how underrated Knuckles Chaotix music is, man. Hmm. Okay. We, we really need to make... I really need to make a video one day about how underrated this music is, okay? It's, it's, it's extremely underrated. Oh, please don't get bombed. Oh, I was going to grab Vector! No! Heavy! 
No! Uh, now, this is something I do hate about this, is you can get bomb and heavy, and I got stupid, I got stupid heavy. Let's go. Yeah, but oh my god, dude, the music here is so good. That's something I do think is heavily underrated about this game. The music is so good. Like, dude, more people need to, you know, they really need to play some, play this game and appreciate the music. But no, this video isn't about this game, okay? But no, like I was saying with Sonic Origins, I, I, I do hope, you know, it... I, I have a suspicion it's gonna be extremely good and I know it's gonna be extremely good and what I'm what I was saying is I want it to pave the way for some other things in the future most notably I want it to pave the way for like I said a 32-bit collection I want a dream I want a 128 bit collection so we get um you know we could get uh, adventure one adventure two and heroes all in a collection that would be extremely good you know what I'm saying oh I, I, so don't get your hopes up for Sonic 6 or what if they made it wouldn't it be funny if they made a collection called sonic the dark ages you know what i'm saying and you just got like you got sonic 06 sonic in the secret rings and sonic in the black knight which i mean i don't think those games are particularly bad well sonic 06 and sonic in the secret rings yeah but as for black knight i've never played it but i uh, obviously one of my subscribers paulie he played i've seen him talk about it on his channel a lot and he seems to like it and you know it, i've never played it personally though so i can't tell you if it is good or not and i hate that i got heavy so bad i can't tell you if black knight is good or not because i I have never played it but I have from experience I have played secret rings and I have played uh 06 and I own well I did own secret rings that got I have a funny story about secret rings I'll tell that one day probably not here because it's just not the time but as for 06 I still have my copy of 06 and please have you're gonna get on my nerves man no, I still have my copy of 06 here uh, here with me. So, um, yeah, but maybe they could. It would be funny if they made a collection called like Sonic the Dark Ages, and you got 06 and all the rest of those games together. I thought that would be extremely cool. I mean, they're not gonna do something like that, obviously. But if they did, it would be cool. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? Maybe one day they could release a handheld collection with like Rush, with the Sonic Advance games and the Rush games all together. That would be awesome. Although, I highly doubt they would include, like, Sonic Rush, um, I highly doubt they would include Sonic Rush, uh, Sonic Colors for the DS, but, I mean, a man can hope, can he? I can dream, can I? Yeah, I can. But, um, yeah, and we can all, it can also pave the way for a modern collection, you know what I'm saying? Where we could get, like, uh, Generations, we could get, they could add Generations, they could add, well, they could add Unleashed, and I'm gonna die, so, well. Uh, they could add generations. They could add unleash. They could um, what else could they put? They could even put lost world. So that would be pretty cool, right? That that could, that would also be extremely cool. I want to get rid of you, please, heavy. Hex, no, 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 no. Hold on. It's finally my time. Could get back down there, heavy. Wait, I'm I'm just gonna no. I wanted to grab fact. No. No, not bomb. Oh, bomb is really gonna mess me up, but no, uh, yeah, that's the thing I hate about this game is you always get bomb, but they could even make a collection with, like, um, they could even make a collection with, like, uh, Generations Unleashed and Forces, or Generations Unleashed and, like, Lost World, or something like that, you know what I'm saying? That would be pretty cool, right? That would be pretty cool, at least in my opinion, yeah, it would be pretty cool, and we got the same stage again. Did we get the same stage again? I can't remember. But no, yeah, um, that would be extremely cool. You know what I'm saying? We could, there could be a Sonic underrated collection. I just see a lot of collections that could come out of this. You know what I'm saying? That I'm personally hyped for, and I'm personally hoping we do get, because that would actually be really cool, and it would bring a lot of, um, a lot of nostalgia and a lot of money and i could see this making a lot of money for sega like i said i already see sonic origins doing extremely well there's a lot of people who are going to buy this collection right now including me I i'm already about to say i'm already about to save up because i don't think i have to save up that much i mean i don't see this collection being more than 20 to 30 dollars which is the norm for sonic games in general but still i don't see this being more than like I really I don't see it being more than 20 especially considering like Sonic Mania was only 20 but then again the ultimate Sega Genesis collection was 30 but you were getting a lot more games than you are here you know what I'm saying so I'm hoping this collection here is going to be 
around twenty dollars is what I think it's gonna be. I don't see it being more than that, but I also hope it gets a physical release. That'd be really cool. Also, also this is really cool. You see what I'm saying? Sonic Knuckles Chaos had a lot of cool ideas in my opinion, but no, I don't see it being more than twenty dollars, and that's what I'm hoping it is gonna be. But I mean, if it, if it's more, I'm still gonna buy it. You know what I'm saying? I'm still going to buy. It. Am I playing this bomb now? Oh, that sucks. I do not want to be playing this bomb now. How do I switch characters again? Wait, hold on. Switch back. I don't want to play. I'm stuck. If I'm playing as bomb, I'm stuck, man. I need Knuckles to reverse. Please reverse it. Oh, thank you, God. Okay. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't want, um, I don't want, uh, I hope the collection, you know what I'm saying? I don't want it to be more than $20, but I imagine if it's something like $20, it's going to fly off shelves really well and could pave the way for more collections, especially, like I said, definitely the one I see out of, if you ask me the one I see most likely happening, you know, the, if you ask, hold on, if you ask me the one I really want to happen the most, it has to be the Sonic 32-bit collection. I, I would love to see, like I said, Knuckles Chaotix, the Sonic 3D Blast, the Sega Saturn Edition, Sonic R and Sonic Jam or well, I mean, I don't think there would be Sonic Jam, but if I mean if, if they could add Sonic Jam, but it would just be another collection of classic Sonic games. If they were gonna add Sonic Jam, I'm more so mean the game world from Sonic Jam, because that's what everyone cares about for Sonic Jam. And let's be honest here, everyone brought Sonic Jam for the game world. They didn't buy Sonic Jam for Sonic 1, 2, and 3. Because you know, everyone still probably owned their gen a lot of people still at that point, right? I mean at that point, most people probably still own their Genesis. I'm not gonna say they actually you know regularly used it but they probably still own their genesis at that time so i highly doubt there's anybody who actually brought sonic jam for the uh, sonic classic games but i mean if you did you did i mean no big deal you know what i'm saying it's up to you it's your money you decide i just personally would not have spent like that much money on that on the on the collection just for that i needed sonic game world you know what i'm saying but no like I said, I'm hype. I'm hoping we do see something like that from Sega. Sega's a smart company, you know what I'm saying? They'll, they'll, if the money hits them in the face, they'll, they'll, they'll probably chase it, you know what I'm saying? So I'm hoping, like I said, I'm hoping a lot of people do go out and get Sonic Gym because I've seen a lot of people saying they were going to get it and they were going to pick it up. And like I said, that's why I'm hoping Sega does have a cheap price tag. Cause I, I, when I, when, the thing is, right, I, I, when it comes to me being a Sega slash Sonic fan, I try to look at Sega in the future rather than in the present you know what i'm saying because i see like with the sega genesis mini i always hope that would lead to more minis like saturn minis or dreamcast minis or a um or or a game gear mini which it did lead to that and well, we saw how we saw how that went uh we, 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 we choose not to talk about that here, you know what I'm saying? But during that era of Sega, I tried to, I you know, I want it, I want it more and more. And that's why I, I just tend to look to the future. I think it's better to look to the future in gaming in general rather than look to the present. Because the present is in the now, you know what I'm saying? The future is the future and you, you never know what things could lead to. You know what I'm saying? That's why it always gives you a chance to hope for really good stuff. So that's what I was trying to do. I'm not gonna get that, so yeah, I had an incorrect, whatever, I don't really care. But, um, yeah, I that's just what I tend to do. I look to the future, and I'm hoping Sonic Origins is, you know, everything we all want and more. Because, like I said, I've seen a lot of people talking about what they wanted from this collection, and I'm just, you know, it, it's, it's, the, and I don't want to say this at the same time because I hate to say this, but that and Colors Ultimate is the safest thing to look at for now. You see what I'm saying? It's the safest thing. Come on, I had enough. That's not fair. It's the safest thing out of everything else that we can look at because we know at the very least it's not going to suck. We do know that for sure. We That's something we do know. And with Rangers, you don't really know. Colors Ultimate is pretty safe too, but I mean... We, we more so have to fear that that's going to be... They don't even bother moving. Okay, I'm okay with Charmy. I'm okay with Charmy. They didn't even bother moving Mighty. They was just like, oh, uh, yeah, no one's going to go for Mighty. Why should we even bother moving him? That's a bit wrong. But, yeah, like I said, I'm just hoping this collection leads to uh, a bunch of other good collections in the future. Some other people, you know, they might not want more collections. Because I know collections sometimes... I mean, like I said, I do know personally that collections are seen as the easy way out for companies in a lot of cases because i mean it's easy to repackage and rebrand your old classic software not so easy to make a whole bunch of new games off of that software you know what i'm saying but like i said and another thing i am kind of hoping sonic origins has in it that would be actually cool like what if they gave us like prototypes you know what i'm saying 
for um, different Sonic games? Or what if they added even added in like Easter eggs? So like, let's just say uh, there was an extra bonus game that was uh, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine or uh, Sonic Spinball or maybe the 8-bit version, maybe the 8-bit versions of each game. That would have been really cool. You know what I'm saying? To see like the 8-bit versions of all the Sonic games they actually gave us. That would have been like extremely cool. No, I don't actually wouldn't mind switching to Charmy real quick because I want he can fly. Charmy can fly, and I always thought that was cool. You know what I'm saying? It would be cool to kind of fly because I, I don't know where I'm going right now. I don't remember this stage. Hold on. You gotta give me some time to figure it out, okay? But yeah, I it, I think it would be really cool for a Sega to just you know take things in the right direction, have some nice Easter eggs in it. I mean, like sure, like I said. For Easter eggs, a lot of people are going to buy, a lot of people would buy it, even if they had just like one cool Easter egg in it. Hold on, I have minus 10 rings. How do I have minus rings? Okay, this video is already getting too long, and I'm kind of just mumbling on it at this point. But yeah, my general point is, I have high hopes for Sonic Origins, including, like I said, I have high hopes, including, like, like I said, more collections that could potentially show up in the future that... It just gets me really hyped. I'm hoping Sonic 3 really doesn't. If anything is going to disappoint in this collection, it might be Sonic 3. If they include the stupid Windows uh, or MS DOS versions of the uh, music, that's going to ruin it. They don't usually do that when they do include Sonic 3 in the collections. They never do really do that. But you never know with Sega. They're they're unpredictable. You know what I'm saying? They're <clears throat> the thing is right. But that's what I like about Sega. You know what I'm saying? Compared to somebody like Nintendo, Sega is more unpredictable. You never really know what you can and can't count on from Sega. And I, I, I love that unpredictability. I mean, a lot of people rather play it safe, but not me personally. I'd rather have the unpredictability any day over playing it safe. Because playing it safe is boring, you know what I'm saying? If, you, if you're unpredictable, you never know what to expect. And it always keeps things fresh and interesting, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, some others might not see it that way, but I see it that way personally, you know what I'm saying? So, so yes, I am hoping um, Sonic Origins sells well, and that's the, all. those are all the reasons as to why I'm hoping Sonic Origins sells well. Also, Charmy is overpowered in this game, by the way. You should just know that. I meant to tell everyone that. Like, Charmy is just overpowered. You really do not. Like, when it comes to Charmy, you don't need anyone else because Charmy is just that overpowered. Also, yeah, here's the special stages in this game. I always thought they were really cool. You just gotta watch out for the exits, you know what I'm saying? You can hit other stuff and you wanna get points and stuff like that, but you just wanna avoid the exits is all you're worried about avoiding, which is really kinda hard to do, to be if I'm being honest with you, because there, there, there's always gonna be a lot more exits than there are anything else, but yeah, you can go in here and get some rings, maybe get some other things, pick a few things up, get a few extra points and things like that. There are some traps here, but I'm not reviewing Knuckles Chaotix. Listen, I'm sorry. Okay, really, that's the end of this video. I really don't have too much more to say. And anyway, we've been recording for a total of, if I check here, we've been recording for a total of 21 minutes, and I haven't even really said too much, okay? But yeah, these are all, listen, those are all my hopes for Sonic Origins as a whole. This is everything I'm hoping for, I'm wishing we get. I mean, you don't have to agree. I want to know some of your, like, uh, thoughts and, uh, thoughts on Sonic Origins and the rest of Sonic in 2020 going into 2022. What do you think is the future of Sonic? You know what I'm saying? Are you hoping Sonic Origins will lead to more collections like an adventure collection, a 32-bit collection, which I'm personally hoping for, maybe a handheld collection, like I said. I imagine they could pretty much load a handheld, a handheld collection up with the games, you know what I'm saying? I could see DS titles making it in. Although, you know, I always thought about this. Hold on, let's talk about this real quick, right? It is extremely hard to port DS titles to anything but Nintendo consoles. Like, have you ever noticed that? Like, it is extremely hard because you don't see companies porting DS games to other consoles. They always remake DS games for other consoles, yes, but they don't port DS games to other consoles. And the reason is because most other consoles don't have a touchscreen. You see, that's why I said it's a lot harder to port DS games to anything else but Nintendo consoles. You see what I'm saying? With the Wii U, the, um,. The gamepad is touchscreen. With the Switch, the system itself is also touchscreen. But like with an Xbox Series X, you don't have a touchscreen. A PC, no touchscreen. So it's a, it's a lot harder. You would because uh, you got to do a lot of work. You can't. I guess you really can't just directly port a DS game that isn't 
on a Nintendo console to like any other console. You have to do work to remove things that you know require the touch screen. So that's why DS games don't get ports. I understand that why. I was gonna say I don't know why, but I know why now. But uh, they could always release it on Switch. You know what I'm saying? That would be really cool. Yeah, a uh, classic question. But anyway, that being said, not too much more I, ha I need to say here. If you're new here, if you can subscribe, that would be really awesome. We're trying to reach 300 subscribers, and you'd be helping us out a lot. Make sure to share this video with your friends to become a super slayer. Let me know down in the comments below what are your hopes and thoughts for going into Sonic's 30th anniversary and the rest of Sonic for this year and next year. What are your hopes for Origins? Go ahead and give me your hopes for Rangers, as it's so-called. I guess it's called Rangers. Everyone, i just seen a bunch of people say Sonic Rangers, and that's just what I've been calling it from here on out but you could also call it sonic 2022 what are your hopes for colors ultimate colors ultimate is another one i'm hopeful for i'm hopeful for because i'm hoping that's gonna lead to you know maybe an unleashed ultimate a generation's ultimate uh not nah, forces forces isn't getting updated not anytime soon anyway but yeah, if you're new here, I already said that. I've been the worst coolest second enthusiast, second Slayer 64. And until next time, have a good one, Slayers.